The only thing better than the printer is the support from QIDI. The QIDI is a dual extruder all-metal frame 3D printer with heated bed. The design is simple and effective. The build quality is solid and true. The printer has a few small quirks. The SD card slot is not exactly ergonomically located. The slot is inside the printer and to the right. With the acrylic panels on it is a bit of a challenge at times to access it. The printer has a small cooling fan in the bottom compartment that houses the electronics. I'm certain the fan was the driving force behind a hair dryer in a previous life. Last, leveling the build plate can be a slight bit of a challenge due to the fact that the printer head runs about 1 8 off the back of the bed. This makes it a bit difficult to get a proper level on the back part of the build platform. QIDI vs. FlashForge The FlashForge printer and the QIDI are similar, both being replicator clones. The primary difference between the two is the price. The FlashForge is considerably more expensive than the QIDI. The build is very similar, both have sturdy metal frames and use similar components. The primary difference between the two printers is the main board. Although the main boards are quite similar, both being variations of the Mighty Board architecture. The Flash Forge uses an Atmega 2560 while the QIDI uses the 1280. There is no performance difference in the chips. The 2560 is simply a larger flash size which while a nice feature does not actually have any advantage over the 1280 at the moment. Another difference is the Flash Forge boasts a few color LEDs that put on a bit of a light show. Not exactly what one would call a deal breaker for the serious 3D printer. The QIDI has 1 inch diameter spool holders which fit just about every filament spool I've ever tried to put on it. Flash Forge on the other hand opted to use very large spool holders that only fit spools with a borehole over two. This is a particular problem if you're partial to hatchbox filament as I am. You'll have to print your own spool holders if you want to use anything smaller than this large bore. Another advantage the QIDI has over the Flash Forge is the acrylic side panels and metal back. Flashforge opted to go with black solid styrene panels on the sides and the back. The additional light provided by the clear acrylic panels is a distinct advantage. QIDI support is exceptional. I had a few issues with mine and they were extremely responsive and seemed to genuinely care about my problems. I can't say I've ever had a better experience.